Hello everyone, I'm Bruce Edwards and this is your two minute breakthrough word discovering God's plan for your life. Did you know that God has a specific plan for your life? And did you know His plan for your life is far greater than anything you've ever dreamed or imagined? It is huge. No matter what you've done or how much you've accomplished in life, you're not done. God has more for you. Regardless of how young or old you are, God still needs you. He has a plan for you. Even if you failed and messed up, God's not finished with you. He has more for you to do. God's plan for your life is not about the past. It's about the future. So I want you to get ready to discover God's plan for your life from this moment forward. And today I want to give you three steps to help you discover that plan for your life. First, you have to realize God has created you for a purpose. You're not a mistake or a spare part. God is designed the way you are specifically for His plan for your life. Psalm 139 verse 13 and 14 says, God has formed your inward parts. He's knitted you together in your mother's womb and you have been fearfully and wonderfully made by Him. You've been created for a purpose by God. Second, you need to embrace how God has made you. Think about the unique qualities that you have, even if they may seem quirky or odd or different, and then embrace them. Think about the gifts talents, and abilities you have, not what others have, and embrace those things that God has given you. Think about what excites you, what makes you mad, what you like to do, don't like to do. They are all clues that help you discover God's plan for your life. So embrace them and celebrate how God has made you. Third, if you're going to discover what God's plan for your life is, you need to pray and ask God to help you. First, you need God to help you see things from His perspective, how He's working in your life. Philippians 2.13 says, God is working in you to will and do His good pleasure. God's not finished with you. He is the potter. You're the clay. Let Him work on you. Let Him work in you. Second, you need God to help direct your life. Proverbs 16 verse 9 says, our lives are to be directed by God. Romans 8.14 says we're to be led by the Spirit. So let Him direct you. And when you do, you will be smack dab in the middle of His plan for your life. God has deposited in you everything you need to fulfill His plan and purpose. Discover God's plan for your life. He made you. Embrace how He made you and follow His lead. That's your breakthrough word in two minutes. Until the next time, remember, there is a breakthrough for you. Be blessed.